Hi there, folks. My name is Z, and welcome to the first episode of I Don't Know and You Can Too. Uh, today, uh, we're going to do some testing with this video and uh, see if I can figure out the software. So we're going to be going over something pretty simple. The uh, lifetime uh, battery capacity review of these Enjoy Ace rechargeable batteries. I have three different ones here. They're all the same model. This one is about two years old. This one is a little over a year old, and this one is brand new, came out of the package yesterday. I have the boxes and the numbers off of the last two. I don't have the one for the one that's two years old, unfortunately. So what I'm going to be doing today is testing how much capacity these batteries still have. This one is basically brand new. It's been pulled out of the box, uh, recharged once, and then drained completely. And these two are just dead in their cycle. I carry uh, two of these with me every day, and they get swapped out. So I don't recharge them before they hit completely dead. You know, it's an old habit from old batteries. Same as recharging this one before I uh, used it the first time. And... Uh, We'll see what the actual capacity on these is, again, after two years, one year, and brand new out of the box. Uh, to test that, we're going to be using a little amp meter. It just reads uh, voltage, uh, amperage, how long it takes, and the total number of milliamps that have uh, gone down the line. Uh, so uh, let's get the first one plugged in, and uh, we'll see what we get. All right, I've got the uh, shorter cord here so that we're not losing power down the line. I'm going to take the battery that's a little over two years, about two years old. Let me get that plugged in. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. Nope, I'll set you down for a second. All right, we got it plugged in. As you can see, we're just starting the time right here. It's drawing. Uh, Fluctuating under half an amp right now. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so uh, we're going to let that charge for a second while I ramble. And uh, in the last couple of years, it's been rough for all of us. Uh, it's been a, a long, long last couple of years. And I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I've been sitting around doing a whole lot of not much, and I got a lot of things that need to get done. And uh, I decided that I need to start doing something, even if it's not a whole lot of anything. And uh, some, you know, some motivation for that would be nice. And I decided, well, a lot of things I do are a little weird, and I could start recording it and passing that information on along to the rest of y'all. So, uh, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I'll just have some random videos, and uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, and. Uh, <laughs> If you have any suggestions for things I should do, you know, go ahead and uh, hit them in the comments. Other than that, we'll uh, be back after this is uh, done charging. We'll see what its capacity is, and then we'll test uh, the one-year-old one and the brand new one, and uh, we'll see how they compare. I'm going to check up on this in about 10 minutes here. Let's see. Yeah, we're at about 10 minutes. We moved about... 70 milliamps. Oh, just hit 11 minutes. 72 milliamps. It's not going too bad. Still fluctuating below half an amp. And let's check on it in about 20 minutes again and see where we're at. All right, I'm back over here to check on this one more time. We're on a little behind schedule. We're at 33 minutes. Still fluctuating under half an amp between uh, 0.38 0.41 amps. We're at uh, 221 milliamps so far. Not too bad. Alright, I guess I'll uh, come back and check it in about another 15-20 minutes. We are at one hour on the timer. It has dropped down to almost no charge. So it's about to be full here. We're at 324 milliamp hours so far. So uh, I'm going to stand here and I'll take another video when it ever hits its actual topped off and uh, give you the final count. Well, that happened a lot faster than I thought it would. Lights out. We're at an hour and one minute, and it is 324 milliamp hours. 
Not bad for an old boy. Let's see. Let's unplug that. Let's see if we can get this next one plugged in. Oh, and reset the counter. Counter's been reset. We're pulling a little higher amperage. Oh, nope, back to 3841. And come back in a few minutes and see what we're at. Okay, we're back here. We're at 32 minutes on the uh, one year old battery. And 4.1. 0.41 to 0.38 amps still going down the line. We're at 214 milliamp hours and 32 minutes. Let's see how it goes. All right, I'm back out here again. We are at an hour and seven minutes. The one year old battery is fully charged. And it looks like we have 355 milliamp hours. So let's get this set up for the next one. Let's unplug this battery. I'm gonna reset this real quick. That resets. Plug in this brand new battery. All right. Let's see, fluctuating between 3.38 and 0.41 amps, just like the other ones were. So we'll come back in about a half hour, and I'll come back about an hour and see what we got. We're running a couple of minutes behind again on this. We are at, let's see, 33 minutes. Still charging on the new battery, and we are at 213 milliamps. This one seems to be cycling a little lower amperage than the others. This one's uh, 0.35 to 0.38. Don't know why that is, but cool. I'll check back in in about half an hour. See how we're doing. All right, the light has gone out. Let's see. We're at an hour and six minutes. Oh, 325 milliamp hours. So let's see, that's... About the same as the one that's two years old and 20 amps, no, 30, 30 milliamp hours lower than the one that's a year old. That's interesting. So what do we learn from this? Um, well, really, not a whole lot. Uh, I'm not going to do the conversions and I don't know what, exactly what battery they even have in these. It's part of the reason I did this test. We do know that this one, so the machine says it took 324 milliamp hours to uh, charge this. This one, the machine said it took 355 milliamp hours. And this one says it took 325 milliamp hours. This one's two years old. This one's one year old. This one, brand new out of the box yesterday. Uh, thanks for joining me today, folks, on this uh amp hour capacity review for these enjoy ace rechargeable batteries hopefully you enjoyed what you saw today and uh, hopefully you'll join me again for the next one remember guys if it's worth doing it's worth doing poorly and i'll catch you on the next one